Hi, here we are discuss about your interface FPGA implementation of TFT 1.8 inch SPI 128 cross 160 display ROM interface. So here this ST7735 is a display controller. It's used in small thin flame transistor that is a TFT transistor LCD display. It is often used in a combinations of microcontroller and FPGA to drive this display. So this controller support a serial peripheral interface mode of communications for sending the commands and data to this display. So this TFT display help for more number of images and video processing applications. So here we have implemented this TFT display in a FPGA hardware implementation using Verilog HDL code with a novelty based architecture design. So here we can discuss about the design architecture. So this is the design architectures we are handled in this uh, approach. Okay. So here, so first of all, we need to create a RGB memory. So this three memories we will uh, create it with a single image okay with the help of matlab gui so the matlab gui we need to create a uh, image to hex conversions that hex conversion file we need to create a coefficients after that we need to create a coefficients based a rom memory okay so this rom memory we can uh, read the output and we can project it on your lcd display okay other options uh, we can possible to write this memory okay so with the support of uart interface uh, uh, with the help of matlab gui so the ma same matlab gui we can interface with a uart okay that uart based we need to write a data image data into this memory after that we can start the lcd display process okay so in between we can use a uh, lot of applications okay so example this input image uh, we will process any example image multiplications we will process it after that we can load the data into the image display that also possible okay so here uh, as per this architectures once we created a rgb memory after that uh, uh, we will create a start signal as per the start signals this display process will be start okay so here uh, for display interface we need to create a s clock sda cs and rs mode as per the data sheet okay so here this is a data sheet okay so here is a systronic uh, st7735 or data sheet okay so as per this data sheets we need to create uh, the pattern rgb pattern okay so that rgb patterns uh, will formed here okay so here this is a pattern uh, we are given okay so input color format is blue green and red okay blue 5 bit and green 6 bit and red 5 bit okay so this is a power control configurations and this is a spi mode configuration okay and uh, this is a color format configurations okay so as per the color format we will generate a data and we will given into the spi mode display okay so after that we will return uh, top model code okay and this work uh, we have created right so here our memory g memory b memory okay so this is a data configuration and this is a display interface okay so here uh, this code we have synthesized in xilinx uh, uh, spartan 6 lx9 minus 2 tqg144 fpga okay so here uh, you can analyze uh, the logic sizes of this uh, code so it will take very less configurations around one percentage only okay so here slice registers okay 143 and lut 216 okay so it's take three percentage okay and occupied slices equal to 73 and iob equal to 9 okay so here the block memory we have used 30 out of 32 so 93 percentage of block memory we are used okay as per this FPGA. So if you are used a higher FPGA, so it will have a more number of block memory. Otherwise, we can use a distributed memory also. Okay. As per this architectures, uh, the second part, we have created a RTL schematic. So this is a RTL schematic uh, for this LCD configuration. Okay. So here, the first of all, uh, this is the image R gb memory so this image data we are readed and it will be given into the lcd display loading okay so before that we need to load a firmware configurations so this firmware configurations we will check it from uh, this data sheet so it's page number around 77 okay so here uh, the command uh, they are given right 
uh, system function command list and descriptions okay so as per the command list we need to create a firmware configurations of display command okay so we need to load into uh, the display as an initial command configurations okay here so once the firmware uh, loaded uh, started okay so with support of multiplexes so here the firmware loading uh, is clock uh, data firmware done uh, uh, serial data so everything we are given into the multiplexes and display uh, data also given into the multiplexes okay so as per the switching activity we will given uh, data as data to the display controller okay here we will integrate this work in hardware interface and uh, we will test a uh, number of output okay now we can verify the hardware output okay digital coding and uh, implementations we will get a bit file so that bit file uh, we will load into the fpga and uh, we will test the uh, number of uh, outputs okay so here first of all we need to switch on the display and we need to connect a uh, uh, cd display into the fpga code Okay, then we can uh, dump the code. Okay, so here the first code uh, we will execute with a flower. Okay, so you can verify the output. So this is a flower. Okay. And uh, second code will execute it a queue. Okay, so this is a queue output, and uh, the third one it's a frog. So here we will choose three reference output uh, to show the demo. If we need a lot of images, we can load it. Okay. So we will create a block memory. As per that, we will uh, load the input uh, and we can verify the output in the display. Okay. Thank you.